You can play like you don't know, but I'm the motherfucking truth. Spitting real game and I'm clutching in the booth. We was both on one, now we fucking in the booth. She looked me in my eyes, she say, nigga, you the truth. Bad and rude, body, body, we don't. Okay, what's going on, YouTube? Okay, so basically, here, you gotta reseal these wheels. So, with that being said, you gotta clean up all the silicone, which I'm cleaning up all the silicone here, as you can see down there. Taking a razor blade, cleaning up all this silicone. Re siliconing it with some 100 proof silicone. And then. Basically, we go clean this boy up. We're gonna throw a bead all the way down. So we go throw a bead all the way down here. Then we go smooth it down with our finger and then basically you wanna get it flush with this. I see a lot of people put tape here, tape on both sides, which I wouldn't really put tape on both sides because it's gonna give you a hard edge. And then once that low profile tire comes over here, it's gonna fucking peel it up. And then ain't no telling if it's gonna peel it all the way off once they get the tire down. But you just wanna, you just basically wanna beat it up and then peel it down with your hand, smooth it down with your hand, you know, pack it in there real tight and just make sure it's smooth. Leave it there for a couple of days. But as you can see here, we take take the razor blade and we just pretty much just going around the edge getting all this silicone out and then I also got this damn gun this damn gun with the wire wheel on the front of it because then I go down there in the cracks and then on both sides just to make sure I get everything smooth then I blow it out and then pretty much it's good and ready for silicone. So like I said, you just gotta damn clean up all this silicone, all this extra silicone to make sure you got a clean surface. Then you hit it with a wire brush. You hit it with a wire brush and then blow out the crack. And then shit, man, you pretty much good then. But I'm going to go ahead and clean this thing up. And then I'll probably speed up the process. Or actually, I won't speed up the process. I'll show y'all how I throw the bead on it. And then smooth it out if I can get this camera set up. So, shit. Man, just stay tuned. You can play like you don't know, but I'm the motherfucking truth. Spitting real game and I'm clutching in the booth. We was both on one, now we fucking in the booth. She looked me in my eyes, she say, Nick. Pretty much, as you can see, we got this thing cleaned up with the silicone real nice. Now, I just gotta, I'm gonna run a, um, my wire brush down through here on both wheels. <laughs> on both wheels and then I'm gonna blow them out and then I'm gonna silicone these bad boys and get that shit sealed up real nice and then we'll just let them dry Monday take them get the tires put on put them up until it's time for them to go in the car so yeah it's a little task but it's better than you know I already got the tires off so it's better uh, uh, me doing them and just getting the tires put on for 80 opposed to 180 to strip strip down the old silicone and resil resilicone it. They was trying to charge me $100 a wheel for to do this. And I, I ain't cheap by all means, but fuck, I've sealed plenty of wheels. Nigga been lazy. Shit, you just got to learn how to do. You got to learn how to do shit yourself, especially when people try to Nah, I ain't gonna necessarily say overcharge, but 
basically, if you don't know how to do it, then by all means, you can pay the 180 But with me knowing how to do this shit, I could save myself $200, $100 a barrel. So that's pretty much what it's all about. Shit that you can do yourself, just go ahead and do it yourself, man. Instead of instead of it being, you know, you know, you getting mad over somebody else telling you they price when you know it don't really take all of that. So if you know it don't really take all that, just go ahead and just do it yourself. Just go ahead and just knock it out to park yourself. Save yourself two hundred dollars. So that's pretty much what I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna run my wire brush in between these, like I said, and then I'm gonna reseal them and let them dry. They'll be ready. They'll be ready by Monday. So actually, they'll be dry and ready tomorrow. But um, but since everything is closed on Sundays, you know, we can proceed on Monday. I'll just take my truck to work, get off work, have them throw the tires on real quick. Simple. So stay tuned. So here we go with the silicone process. you still the this that you're in that you have some low spots you can always go back around I would really recommend doing this with some gloves on so let me grab some gloves So gonna need a smoother something to something to smooth them out. So Say get down there with your finger, and then what I would do is I'm gonna go back around it with some silicone, and then do it with do it with the little putty thing. So I'm gonna throw another. Another bead. Just so I can make sure everything is flush. Pack it down with your finger first. So that way you know you got all the way down in the crease. Then take this. And then we take this one.
finger. You don't have to push down hard on it. Just enough pressure to get it down there in the crease. Just enough pressure to get it down in the crease. And then Get a little smoother. And then <sighs> that foul stem in the way again. <laughs> 